Greetings in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Tawag mo lang tayo ni Ada Tale na ada ni Bulan na ada ni Ganga sa kwan na ada ni Nando Turang at Jesus Kristo. So wonderful to uh, to grab an opportunity to share the testimony of uh, life changing uh, message and life changing environment to people uh, around uh, Fiji and around the world. And today we are blessed uh, with Pastor Isoa Moseamu Malumu that uh, he will testify the goodness of the Lord and the transformation that he went through uh, when he was uh, still a young boy and now he's married and uh, with, a, with a child and also become a pastor. So we will invite him to testify uh, and start from uh, his young days uh, as, a, as a child and grow up as a teenager and uh, the story is the East background. So let us welcome Pastor Isoa Boseano Molomo. Amen. Amen. Uh, well, first of all, I would like to take this time to thank the Lord uh, for this uh, opportunity given to, to testify about my life. Many. Uh, I want to also take this time to thank you, sir, for giving me the opportunity to, to share about uh, my life and uh, the transformation that uh, God has done in my life. Amen. Uh, I was brought up in a family. Uh, I've got uh, three sisters and a brother. And we were brought up in uh, Nandi, outskirts of Nandi. Uh, it was not very easy uh, growing up in a very poor family. Uh, most, of, most, most of the time, my, my mom only looked after us was not uh, easy because uh, in a family where, 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 where there is no breadwinner and uh, that is the background, that is uh, uh, how I, I managed to see life and cope with life. It was not very easy then and I thank the Lord that uh, as I look back I see how I was brought up and the family that, uh, that I was brought up in. I thank the Lord that uh, He allowed me to go through that, and uh, today is uh, very. I'm, I'm very blessed today to be given an opportunity and a time to share about what God has done in my life. So, Pastor Isua, you're saying that uh, most of the time you were brought up by your mother, and uh, may I ask, uh, where was your father? Uh, in 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 our family, sir. My dad, uh, because uh, my mother only is a Christian then, uh, she knows the Lord. And most of the time my father is not around uh, because of uh, drunkenness and uh, because of alcohol, uh, friends and everything. So most of the time he was he was not with us. So my, my mother is, was the only one that was uh, with us all along. Okay, so that means you experienced uh, the absent father in your home? And most of the time he'll go in the weekend, come back on Monday, Tuesday. Okay, it's a, it seems like uh, that's a problem to many, many families in Fiji today. And that's why we are, we are very blessed that uh, what God can do in a background like this. So continue with your story, Tyson. From, from, uh, from, from then, I used also witness when my dad always come and, uh, and ask for money. And most of the time he always come and ask, uh, uh, for food and if there's nothing prepared so I, I see that uh, there's, there's, there, there's no uh, manship leadership in a family so, so for me as I witness it's like my mother was doing both everything, both everything uh, uh, the part of my dad uh, my dad's part and also her part in our family so most of the time your mother is uh, carrying the, the load of the family, eh? looking after the role of a father and also looking after the role of a mother. And uh, that is uh, something sounds familiar, similar in most of the uh, Fijian, when I say Fijian, it okays family around Fiji. Eh? So your family also go through the same thing. I continue with your story. From, from, from outskirts of uh, Nandi, when you come through the back road, when you're coming towards Nandi to come to the airport, there's a settlement called Korodili. 
in the in the main room, and that's where I was brought up from. From there, we came to Suwa, and uh, we went to Kinoya. We reside a little bit in Kinoya, uh, even though uh, my my the atmosphere, the, the place I brought up changed, but uh, it never changed things that I went through in life. Uh, from Nandi, we came to Suwa. We we thought changing the environment, uh, changing the and env totally environment, we bring the changes. But I, I witnessed that uh, the, the, the 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 same thing, the, the same thing I see happens in Nandi, again happens in in yes. Suba when I came to Suba. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. So the changing of environment, the changing of places, uh, does not really help. I remember uh, there was an interview with uh, Pastor Netani. Uh, and uh, because of sickness, the the family changed the environment. They went to Tabuni uh, instead of Matan Siwaru in Goya in Lami. And yet the sickness remains. And I believe the same thing that uh, Pastor Isua is explaining again today. When they were in Korodiri, that is uh, near Nawaka village, uh, when you go to the airport uh, on the back road side on your right, uh, at, at the moment is there is one big... Uh, ground open open ground right now eh, in Korodili and uh, from Korodili to Kinoa really there's no change it's maybe change of name but the life that they face every day is the same and uh, what a what a life uh, as we witness and uh, listen to the testimony of Pastor Iswa so uh, I experience uh, a lot of hurt as I see other families they, they are together every time, all the time. They go shopping together, they go church together, they involve other things together. Uh, so, so there was a question in my heart, and I always asking if, uh, when I walk to school, uh, because we, uh, we, we are, our, our place is near to the school where I attend, at the Assembly Support High School. Uh, my, my mother always told me that uh, just go to school, we will. I will bring your lunch over. As uh, most of most most years, I waited and I waited and I waited. Uh, I thought that my mom always. Oh, sometimes she forgot. Uh, it's not that she forgot. It's just that uh, there's no food. There's there's no lunch for us in school. So this was some of the experience I growing up in class three, class four, class five. So I was I was trying to hold on to something. That, that that can that is stable, because the place where I thought that that that, I, that, that is stable is not stable anymore, because of the, the things I see, the things I witness, the things I face in our family, but uh, but there was this out of all the loud voices I I experience in my family, there's a there's a something unique that happens, sir, is that uh, is that most of the time. I hear my mother always pray and she prayed and she cried most of the time. Out of all the movement, out of all the, the things that are happening, I remember, I could recall that uh, she always cried for, for our family. So, uh, through those uh, time of struggle, no money, uh, not enough food, and uh, also uh, unstable home and yet uh, you feel that your mother was uh, holding on to something yeah and that something at that time you don't know yeah. now you know that it was the lord jesus christ but at that time you knew that uh, she's crying to someone she's crying to something that is that uh, that gives joy to the family that gives joy to her as a person to withstand the pressure looking after all the, the kids yeah. so uh, it's a ch very challenging uh, situation and uh, uh, please continue with your story so I, I she continues to, to pray uh, and I'm, I salute my mother because uh, uh, even though uh, what she faces in our family is very it's just to the standard where a, a, a woman can just left and she, she could have just left us. She could have just uh, divorced my, my dad and left. 
but uh, I praise the Lord now as I look back into yesteryears I, I will say that I'm really blessed because of my mother she was the one that was uh, bringing us together and even though most of our families they they see uh, things going happening in our family uh, but my mother was uh, was there yeah, she withstand shame in our family she with, uh, withstand uh, uh, everything that happens in the family and uh, uh, as I continue I also we, we moved from Kinoya then we went to Nandera and uh, from then I started to search outside I thought that I, I will I would be loved I will, people will love me if I continue to steal with them if I continue to drink with them uh, and I thought that uh, this is the place so I started to join them I, I it really affects my school life my studies uh, I, I I fall into this uh, all these kinds of uh, alcohol all these um, gangs and all this uh, kind of lifestyle uh, uh, all my friends that the, the, the peer pressure and all, all, all of this praise the Lord yeah. So when you go to Nandera uh, and the uh, years continue to roll, eh? so you become uh, joining to some groups and school dropouts and uh, um, stealing, doing uh, naughty things around in Nandera area. So it does not help you because you are trying to be accepted to the community, eh? accepted to friends, uh, so you can have friends because of the life that the home cannot provide. Eh? So you start going to this... Uh, wildly living with uh, young people around Nandera. Amen. So I was searching and I was searching for, uh, for, for love. I was searching for peace. I was searching for something that I can hold on to that uh, could bring me the plan I need. Uh, as I see, as I see uh, my friends and I see, as I see people, they prosper in life. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the place where I am it's, uh, does not contribute uh, more to me. But uh, I thought that if I do this, it will give me something. So as I continued to search and search, it was uh, it was uh, one morning when I I, I, I have uh, I, I have this habit of uh, playing poker. I have uh, Navimoy Lab, uh, something that uh, really drives in my mind, it, and I know how to play around with cards. To even if you are losing, I can play around with cards. To, to to win and that was uh, something that this was into me uh, so it be, it's it's becoming a lifestyle every morning Come every morning all the boys around Nandera yes, they gather uh -huh. and then play poker we, we call it Lumuri Lumuri oh, oh, okay yeah. and uh, so that was uh, that was life back then I was searching and uh, that's the only place I thought that uh, that it will help me, and it did then. I get I gain some money. I got money. I buy food at home. I do some shoppings, and I even pay some bills, bills uh, with those kind of money. Uh, so it's becoming part of your life. It's become part of my yeah. life. So uh, you must be looking forward every day. You have to sit around with the boys and play poker. Oh, yes. And then what happened? It was uh, this uh, morning as I was uh, as I was into this uh, poker kind of things. We were we were like only the Lord knows uh, my heart. Then there was something in me that is missing. Something in me was just searching and searching for something stable that I can hold on to, searching for peace, like I have uh, already mentioned. But uh, this is a day. I think it was the 25th of uh, November, uh, it was uh, 1999, where, where I was uh, into a poker game. We were play, playing around about 70 to 20 boys. Uh, we were playing. So that's, that's the, the day, that's, that, that's the day when I, I, I totally recall how I met uh, Jesus in my life. Amen. So... So Jesus was shared into you in the middle of the I was poker game. playing poker and I met uh, this uh, gentleman uh, coming in with a tie and uh, he sat there 
and he shared about the Lord Jesus Christ. As I was sitting there, and I thought to myself, maybe, maybe this is the same, same thing that my mom always uh, pray about. Maybe this is this, this, this something connected to the message that uh, this man was sharing to me, and uh, I thank God because uh, that was the day that I that He shared Jesus in my life, and I received Christ. That's my message. Amen. Praise the Lord. For ladies and gentlemen that you are watching, following us uh, through this uh, interview on Facebook live feed and also the television, uh, I just have to uh, just have to be uh, the, the story that uh, Pastor Isoa is. Uh, sharing today uh, I was the one who visited them in Rebbe Circle in Nandera uh, playing poker and I can recall to that day as I start to share the word of God few of the boys uh, step back because that's uh, how the world look at uh, somebody wearing tie and uh, maybe some, uh, we can call it a church person um, as, I, as I was sharing I feel like uh, it's new to them uh, for someone to come and in the middle of uh, playing poker or Liu Muri or Vimoy Labo, uh, somebody come in and to start to share the word of God. And I can recall that uh, Isoa at that, at that time he was just a young boy and uh, he was one of those that surrender his life, that pray the repentance prayer and uh, want to, to, to receive Jesus Christ as his personal savior as we sit here in 2017 and recall back in 1999 there was a, a years back when god touched somebody's life in a very different environment not in a church environment not in a evangelistic uh, uh, meetings not in a prayer meetings no it was during the time that they were playing a poker game then when i met them as I was visiting in uh, in um, Nashino area, I believe I was with uh, Henry, and uh, this young boy Henry uh, uh, comes out to be my son-in-law at, at, at this very day. So I believe that God has planned for everyone, wherever you are, uh, whatever you're going through, whatever mountain that you're climbing. God has a plan and purpose for everyone, and His plan is. To our good, to our prosperity, and his plan is also for the future that you wait for, that you hope for. So, before we take a good break and come back to you, I uh, take this time just to thank the Lord and continue to watch us as we testify and reveal to you or, or put to you what God can do in somebody's life, regardless of your situation, regardless of your background. God still can use you up till today. God bless you in Jesus' name.